I come to you with the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Shalom. And I come to you with the word of God, the word of God that is able to build you up, is able to protect you, is able to strengthen you, and finally give you that which God has spoken over your life. And my message today is all creation awaits your manifestation. All creation awaits your manifestation. This is from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 19. Romans chapter 8 verse 19 is what we will be sharing about. And I want to encourage you with the word of God today that um, it is God who makes us what we are. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 10 we are told that we are God's workmanship. We are the work of God, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, not bad works, unto good works, which God has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And so whatsoever that we pass through, as long as we are born again, as long as we are saved, as long as we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, we know that God will not allow anything to come our way which God has not provided sufficient grace to see us through. And so encourage yourself today, you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus and good works, which God has prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. And why would God go into that trouble of preparing good works? Because all creation longs for the manifestation of the sons of God. All creation longs for the manifestation of the sons of God. And you are the son of God, you are the daughter of God. I am the son of God, we are sons of God, and this world, this creation, all these creations around us, the business sector, the religious sector, the social sector, our homes, the people around us, the villages in which we come, they are yearning and they are longing for the manifestation of the sons of God. Who are the sons of God? These are people who have the kingdom of God. And what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God are the purposes of God. It's the will of God. It's what God wants to happen. And when we bring the kingdom of God, we are supporting God to be able to do that which is in his heart, in our nation, in our families, in our homes. And this is why I'm reminding you today that all creation awaits your manifestation. As a son of God, all creation, in your home, in your business, in the nation, in the world at large, there is that thing which God has deposited in you. The workmanship that God has, has, has done on you. This is the time for the manifestation of the sons of God. And I want to just um, uh, bring you briefly to the book of 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter is um, chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3. We are reading from verse, verse um, 5 and 6. 2 Corinthians chapter is 3 from verse 5 and 6. It says there is nothing in us that allows us to claim that we are capable of doing this work. The capacity we have comes from God and it is God who has made us capable of serving the new covenant which consists not of the written law but of the spirit. The written law brings death but the spirit gives life. We are, we have nothing of our own to claim that we are capable of doing anything. But it is God who will make you and me able ministers of the new covenant. And at a point 
when God has made us able ministers of the new covenant, He will present, He will reveal, He will unveil us, He will manifest us to all creation, something that all creation longs for. Do you believe that God, if that God is working on you to be able to manifest you? Let me encourage you with a few people in the Bible who God used to and prepare them. Sometimes God, when God is working on you, He will take you through circumstances you may not like. He will do things in your life that people around you may not like. But at the end of the day, God is preparing you for a time to manifest you for that which all creation has been longing for. Let's take the example of Joseph. Joseph, we find him in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 37, all the way up to uh, chapter 40 there. We find Joseph being born and Joseph at very early in life is subjected to hatred by his brothers. Finally, he sold the Ishmaelites and he finds his way in Egypt, serving in what I can call a foster family, and where he gets favor a little bit, but he's also subjected to false accusations. And finally, he's thrown into prison, subjected to prison by the authorities. And while in prison, God is still with him and he gives him favor. And finally, we find Joseph from the prison being called to go and give interpretation to a dream that Pharaoh has had and his manifestation begins. Why? Because God was preparing Joseph to be able to feed nations. You find Moses. Moses is born at a time when uh, whatever was happening to the Israelites, maybe they were not very happy with in terms of um, slavery that they were being subjected to. And we find at the very early stages of Moses' life, he's subjected to waters, waters that can overwhelm but I thank God because God was involved, the waters did not overwhelm him. And finally, he finds his way into the palace of Pharaoh and he's brought up. Later on, God takes him and throws him into the wilderness and he's given the wilderness experience to the extent that he's humbled from the palace to become a shepherd of the Midianite. And finally, time comes when he meets that burning bush we are all aware of, and his manifestation begins. God was taking him through the waters because he was preparing Moses to split the water so that the children of Israel could pass through. God took him and gave him the palace experience because God was preparing Moses to stand before dreaded kings and be able to tell them, let my people go. God takes us through experiences. He took Daniel through the experience of being carried to Babylon. He took Esther. And the time comes when the Spirit of the Lord helps Daniel to be able to go through the word and, and know that our times have come. My time for manifestation has come. Mordecai helped Esther to understand that her time for manifestation had come. And God will take us through experience. And it takes one who is in the spirit to be able to understand their timings of manifestation. Just like it took Saul, who later became Paul. Spirit of the Lord, Jesus himself coming and telling him, it's now time for you have done these things for long. It's time for me. To manifest you and we can see from there life was never the same again brethren i'm here to encourage you that it is god who is making us you and me to be able ministers of the new testament of the new covenant to be able to relate and the new covenant is about helping others going out the great commandment and the great the great commandment which is the which is to love the lord 
and to love your neighbor as yourself. We love God. It's about love. And the Great Commission which is to go out there and be able to help others. That's what the New Testament is. If we are, if we are going to love people irrespective of their tribe, of their, of their profession, of their status, God is going to help you be an able minister who can be able to love these people. God is going to make you someone who can desire to share the word of God with other people. And then he will have to take you through experience. The time comes when he manifests you. I'm happy because God is making, giving and bringing revelation. Things we have never thought before in this era of coronavirus, COVID-19. We are able to understand that we can use stadiums to do business. Something that was solely reserved for food. Now, traders are being put together and being sent to get space in stadiums. And that revelation is being given to governors. Massachusetts Institute of Technology has been able to understand that the, 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 the ventilators that cost $30,000, equivalent of $3 million, can actually be produced by materials costing between $100 and $500. It means around $10,000 to $50,000. Why have we not done this? Who is this son of God that will have to go to the business people and begin to do things in a new way, things that we had never thought and add value to the people of God? It is you and me. The world awaits your manifestation. We had never said it is not good for men to go, or men, it's not possible for men to go home and be with their children. We are seeing men by seven there in their houses. We need to have Mordecai's in those houses who will tell men, man, this is your time for the manifestation. Who can be able to help Esther understand that these are the timings. You do it, you work with God now. Or if you don't work with God now, God is still able to achieve what he wants to achieve. That is what Mordecai told Esther. Do we have Mordecai's in those homes? Helping our children to be able to understand. We had complaints. Oh, well, let school open, let children go. To school because we cannot be able to manage. Do we have a Mordecai who is being helped right now who can understand that you can spend time with your children from morning till evening 24 7 48 72 hours with your children without getting bored instead of you feeling uncomfortable and quickly releasing them to schools or looking for entertainment for them or handing them over to relatives the world awaits your manifestation as a parent who has been anointed to raise up a godly generation. The world awaits your manifestation as a father who is supposed to be the priest in the home. The world awaits your manifestation as an employer. We thought people can work from the only place they can work from are our offices. We did not have the capacity to trust them to be able to be productive from homes. The world is waiting for you as an employer who will be able to appreciate that people can still have time with their families at home, yet still be productive and contribute to your business and make your business profitable. God is looking for a people who will be able to understand the work that he's doing in our families, in our business, in our nation, and support him to be able to bring that which all creation has been grown for. God awaits your manifestation. God awaits my manifestation. This time I want to invite you to begin to see how God is revealing things to, to you and me and to begin to understand how those things are meant for me, not for others. So that when God brings that revelation, I will be not the one who will escape and say this is meant for another person. I will pick it and ask myself, what is God saying in this moment? I believe all things work together to them that love God and are called according to his purposes. And even Corona. Even the challenges of God can 
work together for good to them that love God and are called according to His purposes. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Thank you because we are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus and good works which Father you have prepared beforehand that we walk in them. Thank you, Father, because you are the one who is making us able ministers of the New Testament. We thank you because, Father, time has come for you to be able to manifest your sons to all creation so that that which your creation has been longing for can begin, O oh God, to be manifested in their lives. The desire for people to be with their families and help raise up their children and new do things that uh, and, and be there for their children and teach children the ways of God. Father, this is the time. Cause us as parents to come to our senses. Cause us as employers to come to our senses. Cause us, O oh Lord, as leaders to come to our senses. Cause us as individuals to come to our senses. So that when you reveal these things, we shall say, Here, Lord, we are. Just like you revealed to Joseph, and Joseph allowed himself to be available to feed nations through Egypt, just as you revealed to Moses that it was time for his manifestation, and he agreed to go and lead the children of Israel out of slavery into the, the promises that you had spoken over them. Father, today we avail ourselves. Cause us to understand our timings and cause us to say yes to you so that, O oh God, you may be able to do with our lives that which you had in mind when you created us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So, brethren, as we continue to await our manifestation and our revelation, I commit you to the word of God that is able to keep you, is able to protect you, is able to watch over you, and finally give you an inheritance even among the saints. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.